What up guys, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I want to be quick with this video because I do have some boiling water downstairs. I'm boiling some water for some coffee, so I want to be quick. But I wanted to talk about this article, this news bit that came out yesterday. And I'll leave the original link on the description box. And of course, Triple G Gennady Golovkin, the former middleweight champion of the world, has yet to announce where he plans on fighting next. Will it be ESPN, Showtime, or The Zone? We have yet to uh, hear from him, although his promoter Tom Loeffler has said that he'll be making his announcement by year's end. So we should be expecting news from him in the next week or two. Or, or two. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure it'll. If it's not by the by the end of the year, I'm sure we'll know in the first week of January. Hopefully it's sooner rather than later. I'm anxious to know where will Golovkin fight on next. But right here, this article is talking about Gilberto Ramirez's um, trainer, Hector Zapari. Uh, Ramirez is the current WBO super middleweight champion of the world. And Zapari is saying that he would welcome a fight with Triple G. Uh, and he thinks that his fighter could remain at 168 pounds for the contest. Why am I saying that he um, would consider remaining at 168? Because in his last outing against Jesse Hart, it was a rematch. It was a heroic effort by Gilberto Ramirez because he had injured his left arm. And yet he fought on and... He ended the fight strong, 12 rounds of action, and he retained his belt. It was crazy because it was the stuff of champions. What he did, he had a, a messed up left arm, and yet he, you know, in the 12th round, he understood that, hey, look, I'm about to, uh, if I don't pull something out of me, I'm going to lose my title. So what Gilberto Ramirez did was heroic. It was the stuff of champions. He retained his belt, but he did say in the post-fight interview that he, uh, will most likely move up to 175 pounds to the light heavyweight division because he's having a tough time making weight at 168 pounds. So, um, we we could be seeing Ramirez moving up in weight very soon because he's having problems making the weight. He's attributing his lack of knockouts because he hasn't really scored a significant knockout since he became champion uh, to that difficulty in cutting weight. So, you know, it's apparent that he's having a hard time making 168 pounds. Now, is he draining himself? I'm not sure. I don't think he's really, you know, I'm sure he's having a hard time, but I don't think he's necessarily killing himself to make the weight. Uh, he still looks healthy, you know, when he shows up, he doesn't look weight drained. Uh, weight drain for me is someone, uh, for example, like uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And his fight against Canelo, he looked weight drained. You know, his face looked like a skeleton. Ramirez, he doesn't look like that, but I'm sure he's having trouble making the weight. But his coach, Hector Zapari, is saying that he's heard rumors. And I'll read the uh, quote here from the article. Again, the article is in the description box for all you who want to check it out for yourselves. He's saying... We have heard rumors that Gennady Golovkin might want to be coming to ESPN. And if he wants to move up to 168, that is the type of fight that would motivate uh, Sudado, uh, that's Ramirez, to stay at 168 for one more fight. I think that would be a great, fate, fa uh, blah, blah, blah. great fight for all the fans, said Zapati to BoxingScene.com. So... He, uh, Ramirez could very well stay at 168 pounds for a fight with Golovkin. Of course, that would be a big fight. It would be a high-profile fight against a marquee opponent. One of the things that fans have been criticizing Ramirez for, um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Ramirez. To be honest with you, I like Ramirez. Uh, he's a tocayo. We share the same name, the same first name. Uh, so I like him, but I, I, I agree. You know, I think he needs a big, high-profile fight, and it's been lacking. Um, you know, and, and uh, I think that Gennady, Gennady Golovkin, a fight with him would be a high profile fight. I think he, you know, he could, he could very well beat him. I, I think he would, he very well. Sorry guys, my phone is acting up because I put it on mute yet. It still rings. I think I'm gonna have to upgrade, but, um, I think, um, a fight against Gennady Golovkin would offer Ramirez a big fight, a high-profile fight, a big name to his resume. Uh, can he defeat Gennady Golovkin? I'm not sure. Look, there's a couple of things going on here. Golovkin would be moving up in weight to 168 pounds for the first time in his career. So we don't know how he would compete. He's a sm He's not a huge middleweight either. 
and so he wouldn't be a huge super wealth um sorry super middleweight so will his power translate Golovkin has been known to be a vicious power uh striker he's you know had a knockout streak of 23 opponents consecutive opponents so he packs a puncher at 168 pounds now will that power transcend to uh, eight pounds north of his division i don't know um so that's the interesting thing that's that's the advantage that ramirez will have coming into this fight is that he is the natural super middleweight golovkin would be moving up in weight but one thing that golovkin would be taking up in weight with him would be his experience he's fought elite fighters danny jacobs canelo alvarez he had 24 rounds with canelo so we all know that canelo is an elite fighter as well and so is triple g so experience is going to be, play a big factor just like it did against um rocky fielding when canelo out you know demolished him in three rounds you know his experience you know his power uh really translated at 168 pounds now i'm not going to compare gilberto ramirez to rocky fielding because i think Ramirez is better than him with all due respect I think Ramirez is a more um a better package than Rocky Fielding Rocky Fielding was really quite uh, inexperienced hadn't fought at a world-class level when he fought Callum Smith his best opponent he was knocked out in the first round yeah and Ramirez has been competing at a world-class level he has a, a legitimate world title so I'm not going to compare I think this is a, a stiffer test for Golovkin so um i think it's a great fight guys i would hope that it's a uh, one-off fight for golovkin simply because i want to really see him get that trilogy with canelo and that trilogy is only going to happen if golovkin goes to the zone uh, i don't you know i, I don't think canelo's going to go out of the zone he's locked in for an 11 fight deal so you know it, the fight would have to happen on the zone you know, so that's, uh, I want to see Golovkin go to the zone. So that's why I'm hoping that this fight with Ramirez, if it does happen, I hope it's a one-off deal. I'm not saying that it's a guarantee that Golovkin's going to win it because I think Ramirez is going to put up a step, uh, a stiff challenge, a stiff test. But I would hope that it's not a long-term deal with the zone because I really want to see him, you know, put a conclu uh, 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 an end, uh, bring some closure to uh, his rivalry with Canelo now with uh, Ramirez he's having trouble making weight at 168 the only concern I have for him coming into this fight is the fact that he's having that difficulty making weight so with him making weight and him not having that much power because of that difficulty I don't I, I think Golovkin if he takes this fight I think he would he would also have this in mind that he sees that he knows that Ramirez is having trouble making weight that he really doesn't have that power because of that difficulty. Meaning that Golovkin might be enticed into the fight. Seeing, uh, you know, Ramirez's difficulties as an advantage to him. That he could compete. A good test for him. That he could, you know, test the waters at 168 pounds. So, the only concern I have with this is that I hope that Ramirez doesn't give up too much advantages. I want to see the best Ramirez. I like Ramirez. I want him to give Golovkin a be, uh, a good fight. I think it would be a competitive fight. Um, but I just hope that Ramirez isn't suffering too much to make that weight. Because if that's the case, then Golovkin could have an easier night. Just because Ramirez is having trouble making the weight and doesn't have that much power because of that. So that's the only concern I have with that. Outside of that, Ramirez is a natural 168-pounder. Uh, Golovkin will be moving up in weight for the first time in his career. So, uh, you know, I think it's, it's I think it's an interesting fight. I think it's a good fight for Golovkin if he wants to go ahead and reclaim some glory. Outside of Canelo in the middleweight division, I don't see an, uh, another good fight for him. Yeah, I'm sure there's great fights for him. You know, interesting fights, exciting fights to be made at 160 pounds. But really... I think that his rivalry with Canelo desperately needs closure, so that's why I think we need that trilogy. I think outside of that trilogy, uh, no no other fight at 168 pounds really interests me until 
he gets that trilogy with Canelo. After that trilogy, win or lose, um, I think, you know, fights against a Danny Jacobs, Charlo would uh, would be very interesting. And they, they are interesting, but again, I think that trilogy needs to be done before anything else can happen at 168 pounds. And because him and Canelo are rivals in boxing, I think that him... You know, Canelo just recently uh, moved up in weight and captured a world title. I think that Golovkin could one-up him. He could go move up in weight as well and challenge for a legitimate world title. You know, so I think that that's an interesting fight to be made at 168 pounds. Golovkin, if he wants to move up on weight, which I think would be pretty cool, I think a fight with Gilberto Ramirez would be um, pretty interesting. And I think this is an interesting fight for Ramirez himself, too. He needs a high-profile fight. He needs a marquee name, you know, at this stage of his career. So I'm looking forward to it. Both are, you know, are two of my favorite fighters right now in boxing. And, I, you know, it'd be hard to choose one to root for. Um, but I think it's very interesting. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Go ahead and subscribe, guys. Um, hit the bell icon to receive up-to-date notifications on future content. Visit TorresBoxing.com. Uh, follow us on Instagram at TorresBoxing. And until next time, guys, I, ho I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless you and have a great day.